Okay, welcome back everybody. Holy shit. I just went through this patch note or um this apology note again. Like I know watering waiver they did one and then they give us like a five star and like what 20 summons or something? I don't remember, but we have a second one. Now this one is also huge because well you know I'll show you guys it and then we'll um we'll go through it basically. So this is an uh, announcement on Watering Way 1.0 version and future adjustment direction. Basically, what's wrong here is that... Oh, this music. Wow. Well, I want to close it. <laughs> well, basically, it's like an apology of like the balance issue with farming Echo. Oh my god. Yeah, I can agree with this because Echo costs 60, right? 60 and then like we get what? four echoes which four or five echoes that, that's like nothing so they are fixing this they said we are aware of the common concern in the community that the current echo leveling experience feels too grindy yeah so that makes sense um now what they will do to fix this is gonna be huge oh my god well it says in the current version we'll launch a limited echo material w event <gasps> oh that wait now okay I'll BRB guys I'm just kidding let's go through this first um I'll open up my watering way while we're at it <laughs> holy shit okay that's huge big 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 now anyways uh they said we will adjust the prog that yeah, I don't know why I trip on that word we'll adjust the progress progression system to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development so okay I have no problem with that uh, excuse me in the background guys I'm just opening up watering waves and then they said in version 1.1 we will remove the reward cutscene in the task if you okay let's go man maybe I should just like stop grinding right now version 1.1 seems to be way better <laughs> oh man in the upcoming update, we'll introduce the Wayplate storage system. So kind of like Star Rail, Genshin. Does Genshin have a storage? Not really, but kind of like Star Rail where you can store up to like 2.4k stamina. I assume like when you're like going overboard and like AFK, right? This storage system will store everything. Um, so that'll be great. Um, nice, nice. Cool. And they said regarding our handling of the reward system error when recycling developed it echoes. So I assume this is when you sell your echoes? Why would you sell your echoes when you can like convert five, right? Into like a new one? I mean I guess we'll do that. Um I guess there's an issue with that. Also guys, it's like I just literally woke up to this news. Holy shit. So I might trip up a lot. Um, now they said they were notified of an issue with the echo recycling system with the amount of shell credits player obtained when recycling developed it echoes what was wrong. Okay, cool. I mean, no problem with that. You get the wrong amount. Now, okay, what does it say? Yeah. They will provide extra comp comp ah, compensation to all players. Shell credit is a million. Like, imagine Genshin doing that. I'm just hating on Genshin for no reason. Oh man, but anyways. Uh, wow. One million is a lot, okay? Like, I think the most Genshin game is like 100k. If you want to compare, right? I know some people might hate it. Like when I compare it with Genshin maybe? I don't know. But I feel like that's the only fair comparison right now at least. Until maybe Zelda Zone Zero comes out. Or like any other cool games, right? Um, but still, ignore that. We got a million credit. Oh yeah. Let's go. So it'll be distributed on June 10th. Okay. How many days that? Right now it's June 2, so boom boom, next Monday, Oh, So, yeah, um, great. And then the next one, 
they said we apologize again for the hasty way we handled this situation for any inappropriate wording in our announcement oh, what the hell they're already apologizing for the announcement <laughs> hey yo crew games wild whoever's behind this like they're just preparing everything ahead dude oh man shut up rover i'm sorry he's beautiful but let me mute the game for now <laughs> okay so um yeah we get compensation so to adjust the poor experience with the ecosystem we will compensate all rovers with crystal solvents x20 oh which you know 20x60 uh two times six is 120 so 1.2k right uh yes 1.2k stamina oh that's so good so uh along with the increased echoes we'll get i assume um yeah because they said increased echo yield right so whenever the next update comes out wait oh we we, we will get the x20 on june 3rd wait today's june 2nd oh wow oh so good wow yeah wait wow okay that's very soon so should we save it th after 1.1? I guess we're gonna have to save it to 1.1, huh? Oh yeah, I mean, well, oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, very nice, ooh. And then on the error in 5 star weapon description. Okay, what, what happened with that? I, I don't know. Um, as has been discovered by our players, the description of the 5 star weapon Verdant Summit, which I assume that's a limited banner for uh, Jing Yan. Yeah, the general. Uh, Soar. Mm, nice crit damage. I love this sword, but I didn't summon for it. Because no. In the game. Th and then I'll continue with the line. In the games, in certain language contain a mistranslation. Upon discovering the issue, we promptly corrected the description and issue compensation to all rovers uh-huh well, i'm just gonna skip through this and go to the reward in the meantime we will offer a one-time compensation of forging tie x5 for like a mistranslation x5 is decent i mean like nothing wrong with it like i'm not expecting to get like x10 i mean that would be nice well i'll take it that means i can sell it for free anyway so X5 to all rovers for on the limited weapon banner. Let's go. Also on June third with the stamina X20. Um. Okay. On the version events, we have received extensive feedback on the duration and reward of the Over Dash Club event, which is. <sighs> Hold on. Let me breathe. Oh God, no! I didn't see. It. Hold on. <laughs> Oh man, it's the morning. Ah, God. Excuse me, guys. Ah, my nose is stuffy. The news is too great. It's impacting my mind and nose. Ah, the Overdash uh, Club event, which is the parkour uh, event that gave you like what 60 pole every parkour. So it wasn't a lot, and I assume people complain about that. So. We are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward scheme. Reward schemes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. And then they said we'll provide you No, we will introduce a new limited time event special event wearing exploration to offer new rewards and content to improve your gaming experience, which will come out on June thirteenth. Um, on the Thursday next week. Oh man, that's so far away. Okay, well, whatever. Um, okay. Wait, the event reward is X oh, 800 Ash, right? Right, that's like five summons. Um, and Morphable Elite Class Echo 1 and 2. Oh. And then premium TNA and premium C top. Oh, and the XP. Thank you very much. I'll take it. That'll be great. But it's on June 13th, so that's gonna take a while. Okay, uh, whatever. And then on future version updates timeline. 
It's an official launch of Weathering Ways. We have received extensive feedback regarding the gameplay story, localization, and various other aspects. We've been listening closely, are they? I mean, they are. Like, holy shit, they made these changes so fast. Like, bro, some other game just took you like a billion years, dude, a whole year to make like a stamina change, bro. Like, oh my god, that's crazy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, too much hate, guys, maybe? I don't know. Uh, gotcha game gets to you sometimes, right? Um, they are grateful for the continuing enthusiasm and support from our players. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm excited, guys. Come on. Uh, to allow everyone early access, more content feature on Wuthering Wave version 1.0, we decided to advance release the subsequent content in version 1.0 starting June 6, which is three days later on a Thursday. Um, kind of bad timing for me, but I have a lot coming this week, but yeah um that's great okay this will release include the companion story for uh jing yinglin yinglin who's in who is that who is that and the future resonant covenant wait wait is yinglin the next banner like the lightning character wait Who's Ying Lin? Hold up, guys. Ying Lin, what are ways? Yeah, wait. Wait. Companion story, feature resonator event. Oh, wait, no, yeah, this is the summon event. I, I can't spell this way right now, guys. What? In limited time event alloy smell. I don't know what that means. That's like a blacksmith? Wait. Already? Mommy's home? No way. Oh. Damn. Okay, I mean for the guys, you know, the boys, gals saving up for uh Yingling. Let's go wait. Early wait, I can't believe it. Did I read it wrong? Like I know I read it like I lie, but like Jesus, wait, that's crazy, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, yeah, whatever. Let's yeah, let's move on. I'm like, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Oh my god. Okay, wow. On the combat and control experiment, like, I mean, experience, optimization, where we see your feedback regarding poor experience with auto aiming auto lock okay sure i'm just gonna like so they're fixing auto aiming auto lock yeah that's a little bit annoying sometimes because you just like don't aim properly and boss existing combat state unex existing or exiting combat state and unexpectedly um something to do with bo boss aggression okay fair enough i assume it's like when you walk out of range with certain like mobs you know they disengage um and the upcoming update will introduce a disengagement warning feature which it will tell you if you're too far away okay and ghost touch issue on mobile oh well sure we we'll expand the anti ghost touch area around buttons i see like to accidentally press like a couple of buttons together i guess um i'm not much of a mobile player i'm not gonna lie guys so that's about me and delay availability of custom key binding feature oh wow um the prerequisite set in 1.1 to unlock key binding will be uh re lower to union level 2 why do you need union level 2 to like change key binding that's kind of stupid they should just let you do that in general no <laughs> That's kind of funny uh, that you need level to like change your key binds. And controller mode experience optimization where we might have the current controller shortcut of open chat to open map. Okay, a little bit change with controller. Um, poor game field design and impacts and notification 
the future version will consistently improve events and invocation and game field design for characters and monsters, enhancing overall combat experience and positive feedback during combat? I don't know what is wrong with the game's combat. Maybe it can feel clunky, certain like, you know, when casting like left click and like heavy attack maybe. I don't feel like I have any problem with it. Maybe it's certain characters, but they didn't mention it, so that's fine. On other content, no purchase limit for a store item like flower leading to accidental purchases. <laughs> So if you have like a million credit, you can accidentally buy like a thousand flower, right? So they're gonna add a weekly purchase limit for certain items in this- No! No, quick, buy, buy the flower. Use a thousand million credit, I don't care what you spend. Quick, before they limit it. I'm just kidding, you don't need that much flower probably. Audio and sound effect bugs. Okay, now I know exactly what happened here. Because Music for me vanished. I had to repair the game, right? To like repair the sound and audio, right? So, um, it might be that. Now it says in recent update we have a just issue regarding missing sound effects and excessive loud ambient sound. So basically the same thing. Missing sound effect is basically where I'm at. So okay, they're fixing that. Performance issue, crash, and instant Oh god. Um, and depths of elusive realm event optimization and update. Where we see numerous player feedback suggesting regarding depths of elusive realm, which is the mirror. It's like the spiral abyss, the like the forgotten hall, you know, of uh, watering ways, I believe, right? It's the roguelike game mode, I believe, right? Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but. <laughs> I think that's what they're changing in the upcoming 1.1 and to include more playable characters, challenge mechanics, and new buffs. Right, okay, I mean, that's fair. Like, I, I love that they're like improving this game mode. Uh, I'm just gonna like, br like skim through the rest because it doesn't look like we have much, but they're basically saying, well, like look through the players feedback more and then like balance the game more i guess jesus christ oh my god yo this patch note is so stacked i'm like dude i came out happier than i did when i like came in oh my god like early banner like more summons more echo more stamina double event like the parkour challenge which is getting changed to like a guaranteed echo select and you get two of them not one but two of them oh yeah that's right not one but two of them now i'm a salesman now oh yeah anyway see you guys have fun and um go grinding maybe not too much because the changes are mostly for 1.1 besides you getting stamina and like early release right of like event Patch note, I mean, limit banner, yeah, question mark. Yeah, okay, see you later, bye-bye, have fun.